Hey mate, oh. what's the go with this layer modification? What's this oh. all about? You mean like where did it start? Yeah, it's a good start. Uh, pretty much. Uh, it kind of started out with a uh, few people having tension knots. Uh, it's mainly camera flyers, but uh, it's quite a small group of people. Um, so I don't think it was all that significant at the time. Oi, oh. what, what changed? Oh, so we did a bit more digging and asking around and we actually found that the occurrence of the tension knot was probably a little bit more than we first thought. Then what happened? Well, so next up we sent out a survey to our layer customers with a range of questions on gear, drop zone location, jump numbers, uh, and we got around 200 responses on that. And so that gave us a good starting point and data to compare. <clears throat> Mate, what yes. did the data show? Uh, actually, it showed that there was no real significant correlation between the gear that people were using um, and uh, higher current of tension knots. So for instance, like a regular D-bag versus a semi stoless D-bag. However, we did notice that around 90% of the people having uh, higher current of tension knots were using Vectran 550. What'd you do about it? What? So the first thing we did was ditch the Vectran 550, so we discontinued that, uh, and just offering Vectran 400 for uh, the layer. Next up, we thought it might be some packing techniques. So we worked with a bunch of people to come up with a best practices guide. So from that, we uh, designed a, a document and a video. Yeah, good mate, problem solved. Well, unfortunately not. Uh, while it did help some people, it definitely didn't help everybody. So we felt like we needed to do a little bit more. So we started looking at heaps of videos, lots of 360 videos, really breaking them down, trying to see what was going on during the openings. Righto, so what'd you learn? Oh, so from, from that we learned that the tension knots seemed to always be occurring between the brakes, the C3 and the C4 uh, lines, which on the layer, the C3 and the C4 cascade sideways, so left to right. So first we thought it might be the cascade point on the brake lines that were the issue. Uh, we began with a testing campaign with some new designs, trying to avoid the interference of a cascade line on the C3 and the brakes. Basically, we tried moving that up and down uh, on each line to separate them. This had limited success, so we made a new design that removed the cascade from the brake line entirely. This also had limited success. Then what? Uh, so we looked at the video again, and we decided to try something a little different. Uh, we noticed on the video that there was a phase during the opening where there was actually some slack in the C3 and the C4 line. So we wanted to try shortening the C4 to try and keep uh, those lines tight during the opening. This was actually a big step in the right direction to reducing the tension knot rate. It also had the advantage of the slider actually sitting in a better position during the opening, which helped make the openings a little softer and more predictable. So is it time to release it yet? Well, almost, uh, but firstly, we had to get a whole bunch of different pilots to test it out, different wing loading, different sizes, that kind of stuff. Uh, we actually had some really, really good feedback on that, but one or two people did actually mention that the roll sensitivity had changed on the canopy. Uh, we solved this by modifying the A4 and the B4 line to flatten out the lobe of the canopy to counteract the roll sensitivity. Uh, now that the modification has been proven safe, next step was beta testing. This is where we send it out to a wider range of pilots for a more diverse range of feedback over a longer period of time. So from thousands of test jumps and heaps of positive feedback, we concluded that the modification had been successful. Uh, we managed to reduce the occurrence of tension knots. We'd improved the openings whilst keeping the flight characteristics the same. Mate, must be time to release it now. It is. So on March 28, 2023, after thousands of jumps, two years of R&D, working really closely with some awesome layer pilots around the world, the layer line mod was released. Yeah, good. So I guess a big thanks to everyone involved from the start all the way to the end. Yeah, guys, cheers. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. However, that's it. It's time for me to go. Bye.